Setting up traffic prioritization within Duma OS is incredibly simple. Once you've logged in, you'll go to the quality of service tab and scroll all the way down at the bottom of the quality of service page. If you want to know more about traffic prioritization, you can give this little circle with a question mark in it a click and read through about how everything works. So uh, you'll notice that Duma OS comes with a couple pre-built prioritizations. The first one is Duma OS classified games. And again, it's got a question mark next to it. You can kind of look into how all of that works. Then you can see the service is all devices on the network. So anything that should be gaming related. And then your download and upload packets. And at the very end, you can see wireless type, uh, which is gaming backslash voice. Uh, something they've mentioned in the forums that I think they plan to fix sometime soon on the interface here is this gaming backslash voice is actually meant for Wi-Fi. So if you're playing on a gaming device that is Wi-Fi, that would be the correct thing. However, for the people who have LAN devices, they're, you know, plugged in hardwired, they're going to want to create a custom rule. I'll show you how to do that in one second. But first, we got to cover work at home. It's really, you know, stuff for work at home. Um, you click on the work at home tab. It's, you know, your VPN service, your Zooms, your Skypes, you know, things of that nature. So um, if you're doing any of that kind of stuff, video stuff, and you need it to be prioritized and, it, you know, you're having um, you know, lag with it, then go ahead and click that one on. For most of us, we probably bought this device just for gaming, and so um, we should never really need to use that. All right, so as you can see, I have my own custom rule already. Games console, which is the Xbox Series X I own, and there are my download and upload packets. And then as you can see for here, it says normal, default, and then WAN. All right, so we'll go through all of this. What we gotta do if we have a LAN device and not a wireless device is we're going to click add device and then we're gonna define the device that we have. So I also have an Xbox One X, so we will um, give that a click and click next. And depending on what device you have, there are a whole bunch of options to go through, but we are a games console, so that's gonna be pretty simple. Click games console and then next. Here are the traffic type options that you need to pay attention to. Normal default, that is for LAN. Video, for video, Skype, those things again. And then gaming voice, which would be Wi-Fi. And then at the very bottom, you'll have this little tab that's apply to WAN. This is only applicable to um, people who whose ISP will allow it, but everybody should go ahead and check it. Um, it will help your network if your ISP accepts those little bit of uh, extra information going with the apply to WAN stuff, just to keep it simple. So um, yeah, that's all you gotta do if you've got a LAN device, is normal default, apply to WAN, and done. Boom, in, takes one second, and then it'll you know tell you that you've manually added a device and all of that stuff. Got it, good. All right, so now when I turn on my Xbox One X and I start the game, these lights will appear and I will start getting full traffic prioritization for my Xbox One X. Note here, if you are a multi-console household, such as myself, and you have multiple consoles on at the exact same time, it's better just to prioritize one over the other. If you're the head of the household and you're playing with your kids, you're probably on the Series X, right? You know, I know I am, and my kids play on the One X, and if we're playing together, I will unprioritize the One X. It's just, it causes issues, it games feel a little bit weird if you have them both prioritized. Not to say it doesn't work, it's just not perfect, and I wouldn't recommend it. So, if you're a multi-console household, just keep one console on, the one that you're probably as the adult using, and, um, you know, let the kids suffer just a little bit with the occasional lag spike, possibly. All right, everybody, that's how you set up traffic prioritization. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and until the next time, as always... Take it easy.